mortise and tenon is really the king of the woodworking joints. It is probably the strongest and most really widely used joint. It can put together tables, cabinets, just about anything you want is joined with mortise and tenon. I will usually drill out the waste using a brace and bit. It's rare that I just come in and chop the whole thing with a chisel. There will be times when you just need to chop the whole thing with a chisel and we'll discuss that. So that I have just enough space for the lead screw to grab. I'm just going to set down this side of the chisel to make sure I'm straight up and down. The same type of thing happens, but now I've pushed that previous chip leveraged it towards the shoulder again. So if I rock the chisel, I can actually pull that chip out of it. Flip the square around so I'm referencing off the reference face. Drop my knife in that line, run it across your reference edge. Just come through and Kind of run a chisel around inside there just to. First, however, in these joints are still highly visible, so the first class saw cut is a necessity. I've got so little to remove here, but I'm just going to come back with a paring chisel, and referencing off the face that is flat or in line with the marquee gauge line. I'll just kind of pivot the chisel around, and it grabs that extra wood right there on the side. really moving my arm, I'm moving my whole body forward. And I can just rock it home. I've got good slip fit. Again, it won't come apart on its own, but I really didn't need the mallet to seat it. fit on both sides, but again, the face that I'm looking at, the one that I'm looking for, secure your work piece to your bench work. And a narrow piece like this sometimes is a good idea, because then you can take both hands and firmly register the plane. That way you're not rocking it and you're getting a taper. Look on the other side and see that I'm flush there guys to get to the point where you feel comfortable working with a tenon saw and sawing to that line. This technique will come in handy so many times over in the future. Peg actually starts at an angle and as you pound it in it begins to straighten. 